Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. In this lesson, you will learn how to insert a background image into a web page. First, start with a new blank page and type or paste some text into the page. I'm going to use some random text. Next, click on the Page Properties button found at the bottom of the Properties Inspector panel. This will open the Page Properties dialog box. Click the Browse button found on the right of the Background Image text field. This will open the Select Image Source text field. Click on the downward pointing arrow to the right of Look In to find the image that you want to use for your background. When you found it, click on it once to highlight the image and then click OK. If you get the pop-up message about creating a document relevant path, click OK. This will bring you back to the Page Properties dialog box. You will notice that your file's path is now visible in the background image text field. To determine how your background image will be displayed, click the downward facing arrow found to the right of the Repeat text field. Choosing No Repeat will center your image on the page and your image will never repeat regardless of the size of your viewer's browser. Choosing Repeat will repeat your image in the case where the viewer's browser is bigger than the image. If you choose the Repeat X or Repeat Y choices, your image will repeat either vertically on the viewer's page or horizontally. Choosing to repeat images usually works best with small pattern images that are designed to be seamless. Many image editing programs like Adobe Photoshop have features that will help you create your own seamless tiles and images. I'm going to choose No Repeat for this background image and click OK. You can see that the image appears underneath my text. Just like when you're selecting background colors, it's very important to think of the impact that a background image will have on your site. If your image is too complicated or busy, it may make your text harder to read. Large, subtle images with not too much color make great background images. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.